Hello, Evan Rain here. Time has finally come to put the uh, Mahindra 5010 back together, the front axle, that is, anyway. Uh, my dad's almost here with the uh, parts, and I uh, thought it'd take just a minute here. I should have probably explained this better in the last video. Uh, I got several comments about this here. What went wrong with the uh, front axle? Obviously, it was lacking on gear oil. Everyone, there was almost none, maybe even none, in there at all. Obviously, there was none up in this top piece here, none at all. So that basically uh, looks like it destroyed the uh, bearings that were in here and probably didn't do the main gear and the differential. That's, uh, I forget if that's on this side or that side, any good either. Uh, the parts guy recommended, obviously, new bearings, uh, a new main gear, uh, or pinion uh, gear, I should say, actually, the pinion. I uh, didn't say we should get a new differential, so we're going to reuse that, I guess. And uh, we're going to also hope, everyone, again, with no gear oil, hopefully uh, the hubs are still good yet. I guess we'll find out. I mean, we're going to fill them back up and run it. But, uh, yes, just wanted to address a couple comments I got here from my uh, last episode. First off, the warranty. Uh, as far as I know, I think we're outside of the warranty. It says right on the side of the tractor there, five-year warranty. Uh, there might be some extended stuff with that, too. I'm not sure. There was, I know in the book it's got different years for different stuff. But uh, pretty sure we're outside of the warranty. And even if this was still under warranty yet, everyone, uh, I don't think this would have been covered under warranty because this was probably our fault. Uh, we have changed the gear oil on the front end here a couple of times since uh, since we've had this tractor. Um, so the fact that it didn't have gear oil was not from the factory that way. It was, yeah, we don't know why it didn't have gear oil, but we're not sure. Uh, we really don't know why there wasn't any gear oil in the front. We're, we're still puzzled by that one. Uh, like I said, we change it, um, I'm not sure about every year, but probably for sure every other year. Uh, we have changed the front end gear oil. You're supposed to change it every now and then, so that is exactly what we did. Uh, when you change it, there are drain plugs at the bottom of these hubs here. I don't know. Uh, you know oh, there it is right there. Right there is the uh, drain plug. And then there is a fill level plug. Actually, no, let's go look at the other one. Oh, yeah, there it is right on the other one here. The uh, fill level plug. That's the fill level, right? I think that's the fill level. Get this orientation. Yeah, because there's the drain plug. And there's the fill level. So basically what you do, everyone, is you fill it from the main axle right there, which is, where's the fill point on there? Oh, can't quite see it. It's right, right, hiding right behind there. Uh, you fill up the main axle until it comes out of there. And that's when you know it's full. Uh, so yeah, like I said, everyone, I don't know what happened, why it was empty, but it is, it was. It, uh, it definitely destroyed the main uh, bearings there in there. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's what happened. So, yeah, again, for those of you wondering what happened, like I said, my dad was uh, doing some work right outside the uh, barn here. Uh, he just happened to have it backed up by the barn door here when it happened. Uh, lucky for that, because otherwise, everyone, I don't know how he would, probably would have gotten it in here. But he basically had it aligned with the barn door. Uh, I was out uh, working. I forget what I was doing. I was doing something else. I wasn't here at the time. Uh, I got home and my dad's like, uh, I got a problem. It's like, uh oh. And just, you know, just the way he said it too, it's like, uh, that does not sound good. So yeah, got a problem. We went down, uh, looked at the tractor. It was locked up, couldn't move. Uh, we figured out the front end was locked up. So yeah, basically when the front end locked up here, everyone, I mean, you couldn't move the tractor at all. The, the rear tires just, I mean, nothing moved. Um, but yeah, we finally figured out, oh, it's the front end that's locked up. Uh, what we're able to do there is lift the front end up with the uh, uh, front loader here. Basically put the forks down just a little bit of an angle so, you know, they could skid on it and skid it in here. And, yep, here it's sad ever since. That's obviously the one problem with the Mahinder here. Everyone is uh, getting parts has been a little bit of a problem uh, for possibly two reasons. One, the uh, dealer where we bought this from, literally uh, basically a mile across the road from us, everyone. Uh, unfortunately, they do not sell Mahinders anymore. Uh, they have a full New Holland lineup. We got a uh, suspicion there. New Holland probably told them to stop selling Mahinders and sell New Holland only. They probably didn't appreciate that. So yeah, the uh, closest dealer we have now, at least that gets us parts like this, is like an hour and a half away, everyone. So that's, uh, yeah, that's that's not quite so nice. Because otherwise, again, the dealer for this tractor, and for us at least, was literally across the road almost a mile over, but still. Nice and uh, nice and close, so not so much anymore. Anyway, we're going to get started uh, putting this back together here. Uh, I'm not sure where my dad put the uh, pinion here, otherwise I could start uh, knocking the bearings off that, but if I find that, we'll get that one. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I guess we 
No, I think we need some of the spacers and stuff off of that. So I might have to uh, ask my dad where he put it. I thought he said he put it on the uh, cart here, but I am not, not seeing it. Like I said, we need to uh, get, there's some spacers and stuff on there we need to get off. Uh, we got all new bearings, new pinion. And I think that was it, I think. Do. This is a whole lot cheaper. Socket to tighten it down with. And I'm going to punch, punch that in with, I guess.
That should be good, I would think. Actually, I got that shit.
six inches back. back. That's too close. Uh, pretty close. I'm bringing it in. Bring it in my way. More. That's probably pretty good. Need to go back a little more yet.
Hello, Cameron. Everything is back on the front end here. Uh, what we're going to do now here real quick is drain whatever remains of the gear oil that's in there on either side out. Uh, apparently, there's a little bit in there because it was dripping. So I think this side, I'm not sure about this side, but at least that side must have had some in it yet because now that it's tipped up like that, it went and ran down to the middle there and started running out. Quick had to put the plug back in. So yeah, we're going to take the plugs out on either end here. There's one on each side, a drain plug. Uh, there's also a drain plug in the middle up underneath there as well. And then there's also a fill level indicator. So when it comes time to fill, we'll uh, obviously put all the drain plugs back in, pull these out. Again, there's one on either side. Oh, you know what? I should probably make sure the tractor's down when I do that because it needs to be level, right? Um, make sure the tractor's down with that. Uh, make sure you pull those out. And then the uh, fill slash check is right there. So we're going to do that here real quick a minute. Like I said, get all the uh, whatever's left of the gear oil in there out and uh, fill it back up with brand new fresh stuff. Okay, well, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it uh, looks like shiny specks coming out of there. For anyone wondering what the uh, part stack up is here, by the way, here it is. In case you're curious, you, know, you can just pause the video or something, but uh, there's the uh, part stack up of, of what we just uh, put in there. Pretty much that, uh, that whole section there. It's the next uh, day here. Uh, it took, I think, longer to uh, fill up the gear oil than it did to put this uh, front axle on. And we're not entirely sure it's quite uh, full yet here either. Uh, we never did get the uh, gear oil out, coming out of there. However, we cannot put any more in. The, this thing is literally full. So I'm not sure what's up with that here, everyone. Uh, like I said, it never did come out of there. So... Uh, obviously, uh, it was really cold out there yesterday. I don't know if you heard the sleet and the rain and the snow. And uh, this thing was doing about every form of precipitation yesterday, a balmy uh, 30 degrees. Uh, that, that's uh, 30 degrees in Fahrenheit, uh, not those communist units there, of course. So, uh, yeah, it's all back together, one. It's working. Uh, we did take it out for a spin just to see once, you know, if circulating the uh, gear oil in there would help try to get it down in there. I don't know if it didn't seem to make a difference. So uh, if it's full, we can literally get it, everyone. We, I mean, we filled that up, waited for it to go down, filled it up again, waited for it to go down. Uh, I don't know. We probably spent a couple hours trying to get gear, you know, just coming back every now and then, pour some more in, pour some more in, pour some more in. Yeah, we should have uh, should have probably warmed that oil up a little bit or something. So anyway, there we go, everyone. Back together, back on all fours. Uh, yeah, now we'll have to make sure we keep an eye on that. That, that don't happen again. Uh, so far, been a great tractor, by the way. This is, uh, I, you can't really blame Mahinder for this, everyone. That, that clearly was our fault. Um, well, our fault, I guess. I mean, why it was out of fluid, I don't know. But 
Yep. Oh, well, so that's, uh, I think that's the most, well, that's like really the only repair I think we've done in this tractor here so far. Just, you know, regular maintenance, changing fluids, that type of thing. Uh, so far, I don't recall having broken anything on this yet that I know of. I don't think so. Uh, we've had a uh, few, you, you know, high, like hydraulic hoses we've had to tighten down. But other than that, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, been a pretty good tractor. So hope you folks enjoyed. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And uh, till next time.